I'm Helen from Lidu, and this video is about company identification, one of the features in Lidu's conversion insights. So what is company identification? When a visitor comes onto your website, we can identify whether they belong to a company. And if we do that, we can then put it onto this dashboard here. So I'll explain a little bit about what's on my screen and what we can see from those individuals that we have identified as belonging to a company. So this is just a demonstration dashboard. So there's just a small portion of uh, companies identified here. But of course, on your platform, you're likely to see much more than this. So first of all, what's at the top here? So of course, we have a time range we can define when we want to look at. There is filtering, but I'll come back to that later. Um, but this funnel here is really what I want to show you. So based on that time period, seven companies have been identified as having visited the website. Six of those have revisited and five of those have actually converted via a Lidu bot. So that means they've left their co um, contact information on a bot and it's been sent through to you. So we get a really easy way of seeing what that funnel looks like. Where did they start and how many have we got to the bottom? So if I scroll down, let's see what companies we have actually identified. So you can see we have a list here of the companies that have been picked up as having visited the website, along with some information about what they've been up to as well. So I'm going to open the one that we've got here on Microsoft. And you'll see a card pop up on the right hand side with some more information about what has happened. So with the information that we have uh, we hold, we are able to not just find out the name of the company, but also a bit about them. So what do they do? What industry are they from? Their country? Um, and if there is any contacts that we have identified, you might see that here or whether they've converted and that comes in here. We can also see information about revenue and headcount. Why is this important? When you look at your um, ideal customer type or your ideal customer persona, this is where you can start drilling down to matching the things you want to look at in more detail in company identification and your ideal customer persona. So if I know that I only want to look at companies which are over 1 billion of revenue a year, then I can set that as a filter. Again, I'll show you a little bit more about that later. But let's scroll down for now and see what else we can see here. So this actually converted. So that means that an individual from that company left their contact information with us, which you can see here, and is listed as a visitor. If I click on this, it will actually take me to show me more information about that particular customer's journey. But again, I'll carry on for now and we'll look at that later. So we get a snapshot of what that journey looked like. Where did they start? Where did they um, end? What happened during those visits? So how many total events there might have been, which includes page visits, bot discussions, live chats, leads, all of that kind of stuff. And you also get a snapshot of visitor sources. So this particular visitor came via Facebook. We can also pick up whether it's come uh, via a campaign using UTM links and UTM tags. So we picked up it came from Facebook, but that it came from a particular campaign, feature one. So it's really useful to understand the benefit of the campaigns that you're doing and what has resulted um, in a conversion. So I'll scroll further, further down and you can see we've got different occasions of when this individual has come back. So we can actually see over a period of time what the activity has been. Now I'm going to click over onto the visitor um, card so we can actually look at the visitor insights. So now we're looking at this individual's journey. We can see when they converted, the discussions that they had, the pages that they visited, all over those multiple dates. And if they've visited multiple pages, that will also show up here. If I want to have a snapshot of what conversation they've had, that shows up here. Now I'm just going to step back onto company identification. So I've showed you what 
you can find and what happens when a company or an individual has been identified and converted by a bot. But what can you do with this information? So we usually say that there are kind of three areas or stages where you can really utilize the information on company identification. Firstly, prospecting. So when you look at this list of companies that I have been identified, you can use this as a springboard to do outreach to these companies. So you know that they're actively interested in your services. So that's your chance to reach out to them and know that they're a little bit warm to what you're doing already. Secondly, it's actually after your outreach has begun. So if your SDR team or prospecting team is already uh, looking in, into these, working with these companies, maybe they've made phone calls, sent emails, and then they can see that Mercedes-Benz has actually visited the site. That's their call to go, right, they're actively engaged. I'm going to call them back now. Or I'm going to get in touch with them. So they can do less guessing about what people are up to and more active, proactive calling them. Thirdly, you can use this information once individuals have actually converted to understand better what that journey looks like and what they've been up to. Also, when you actually get in touch with them once they've converted, you can make your conversations more relevant, and more targeted, because you know exactly what their behaviour has been on the website. So, as I promised earlier, the last thing I'm going to show you is about filtering. And this leads into all three of those different areas of where you can use company identification. If I click on the filters here, you can see there's a long list of different filters. So when I was talking about your ideal customer, this is where you can set in that information about only looking at companies with a revenue of X or only looking at companies who reside or in a certain country or don't. So maybe you know that you only work with the EMEA region. You don't want to look at um, countries outside of that. You can disqualify that here. So it's not going into that list when you view it. Or even looking at pages on your website that individuals have visited. So maybe you're running a campaign and you want to actively look at individuals who visited a specific web page. You can do that there. You can also save the filters. So every time you come back, you can look at just the information that you need to see. Lastly, you can also export this data. So some of our clients use this and actually export it weekly and then act on it from there. So basically, lots of stuff that you can do here and lots of things that you can get out of it. It's just understanding what part of uh, what you're doing this fits into and being proactive about using the information that you have. So if you do have any more questions about company identification that I haven't covered in this video, either reach out to your customer success manager or, of course, if you're in early stages, to your salesperson to explain this in more detail.